Hey there, Mega M1 Garand here with my second weapon showcase. And I'm showcasing the Campi Lan Bolo. And just like the Panabas before it, it is an exceptional blade, also from traditionalfilipinoweapons.com. I'm extremely happy with this blade. It is sharp as hell. I'm not going to touch it because I'm probably going to cut myself. And uh, the blade is beautiful. I've cut a few things with it, not nearly as much as the Panabas, but I have done a lot of, um, I've done some Tamashikita with it. And it's held up beautifully. Uh, you can see I'm missing the rattan wrapping here. It fell off because I was um, touching it too much, so it kind of came loose. But the rest here is still on there solidly. So, no complaints there. Um, the main reason why I bought this was because of this particular reason. It is a quarter inch thick at the guard, tapering off to the end of the blade. But it is just... You need to try to damage this blade. I've cut... I've chopped into a tree. I, I, I know you're not supposed to, and I still feel retarded for doing it, but I actually chopped into my tree in my backyard within a thick tree, and not a single bit of damage to the edge. The tree, however, did not hold up so well. Massive gash in it, and my parents are still pissed off at me for that, but they can deal. Um, if you're wondering, I did carve the name of God there and there. I'm sure no one cares, but in case anyone's wondering about that. But, uh, yeah, um... Full tang blade going into the guard, going into the handle, metal collar and pin, guard there. Um, I did have it sharpened and polished by a professional, so that's why it doesn't look like crap. So, and this is the Capilon Bolo. My second favorite weapon, first Filipino weapon I ever owned. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.